Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a review on the review for Road to the Final Julian Draxler. This card has recently upgraded from 83, I believe, to an 85 as a result of PSG getting through the group stages. Um, we're going to go through this card, his player details, his attribute, and of course his traits. But before we get into all of that, if I could ask you guys to please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell so you know when I upload, and comment down below what your thoughts are on all the upgraded cards and who you've used, what you what you think of them, and if you've used this Draxler card and what your thoughts are on him. Back to review, Julian Draxler, 6-2, medium, medium work rate, so maybe not ideal for a cam. We'll get into that a little bit more in a bit. Right-footed, but five-star weak foot, so really good for the attacking midfield position. Four-star skill as well, so very usable. Very cheap, guys, 46,000 I bought this one for, and he will go up, considering he's gonna get up to maybe an 87, an 88 rated card. This is a really nice card to have uh, for so cheap. He played nine games for me, four goals, seven assists. In truth, guys, some of these games aren't fair to him because he ended up getting a lot of games where it lagged me out or the person raged quite early after one goal, so I didn't really get to boost his stats like that. I actually think this card is really good for the price you're paying for him. Again, some of his details. I put, again, a Hunter chemistry style on him. I think the Hunter suits this guy the most. Again, pace, passing and dribbling, sorry, is very good. His pace and his shooting needs a little boost for the number 10 so that he can finish a bit more consistently, get the goals that you need from that attacking midfield position to supplement your striker. Attribute details. Everything about this card is fairly standard, fairly nice. Um, the standout stats for him, really, the ball control, really high. Dribbling's nice as well. Attack positioning is good, and overall, he's just a very solid attacking midfielder. For 50k, you're not expecting a world beater, um, so overall, I think this card is really nice. The one con about this card that I really didn't like was the stamina. 73 stamina really does let him down a lot towards the end of the game. I assume this would get better as the card gets better, but for right now, that is still a con of this card. Finally, the player traits. He's got a lot. Finesse shot, flare trait. Uh, outside the foot shot, playmaker and technical dribbler, so he's got a lot of traits to go along with this card and again as he keeps getting these boosts he will get better, you just have to hope that PSG keep going through the rounds. Now that we've covered the card guys, let's get into some of the video clips that I got with him. So guys, just get into some of Draxler's clips and you'll notice that a lot of these clips are very similar to the Marco Verratti clips and that is because when I played these two together, Draxler was attacking mid and Marco Verratti was out on the left. And I can tell you this, guys, the reason I found it so easy to play with Verratti is because of how good Draxler was. His link-up play is absolutely sensational. And that's probably the biggest part of this card that I enjoyed using. His set-piece delivery as well, guys, that's something I have to mention. Every single set-piece was bang on the money in terms of power to accuracy ratio. Sometimes you get players who can position it really well, but it's not that powerful. And you get players who have a powerful delivery, but it's not always accurate. Draxler had consistent delivery after consistent delivery, and that's what I really love to see. That pass there again, an absolutely beautiful pass, and it makes the finish easy because there's so much time, space to do whatever you want to do. Draxler's finishing isn't to be underrated though. He does have a good shot on him as well, and whilst his creative side in terms of passing is mainly what I used him for, when he gets into those goal scoring positions, he is capable of finishing, as you can see here, he moves the keeper, this guy, actually, but I still managed to finish that volley off, and it's a good little finish there. Again, we get the ball in behind here, Marco Verratti in behind, a little chip up here, and the volley here is just a lovely little touch into the far corner, and that's kind of what my favourite part of this card is as well. The final one here, just a quick nick off the keeper, the physicality there, and a tidy little finish into the corner. So guys, get into this final Julian Draxler summary. Of course, the PSG cam from Ligue 1, German players who've got some great link ability and that we'll get into that a little bit in a second. 55K, 65K on the PS and Xbox. Nine games played, four goals scored and seven assists. So a really good return. Um, the key stats for me, of course, is ball control, shot power and his key cons, stamina and balance. Sometimes his balance was a bit affected with a bit of a bigger defender. Um, bullying him rather easily but otherwise he was pretty good on that front I put the hunter on him as I have done with many other cards because again passing and dribbling is fantastic you just want his pace and shooting to be boosted a little bit the great thing about this card of course guys is he is a road to the final Draxler which means that if PSG do reasonably well in the Champions League I think you could easily be looking at an 88 89 90 rated Draxler um, depending obviously how far they go I don't know if that will actually get that high um, but he'll be a fantastic card irrespective of that. So he's a card you can pick up now and hold until the end of FIFA realistically. Of course, you've got the links to Mbappe and Neymar earned a bunch of links to the Bundesliga because of his German nationality. 
I put Kevin De Bruyne as a similar player. I think the physicality side of Draxler's game allows him to be more that style of player than a smaller player at the attacking mid. I think he might do really well as a CM once his defense gets a little bit of a boost as well. Overall, guys, I think this card's a really good card. I really loved using it. I really enjoyed using it. And for 50k, it was an absolute bargain to fit around my Mbappe and my Verratti. So I would recommend buying him if you fancy get doing a cheap league on team and you think that this card would be useful and PSG are likely to advance through the rounds, at least one or two rounds. You've got yourself an 87 rated card there, which is very usable uh, up until when things start to get silly at the end of the year. So yeah, I would 100% recommend buying this card. I absolutely loved it. Hope you guys enjoyed the review and until next time, I will see you in a bit. <clears throat>